Hello everyone, Dr. Campbell here with another Dissecting an Operative Report case study. Today, our patient has a pre-op and post-op diagnoses of localized area of extensive fibrocytic mastitis, upper outer quadrant of the right breast. The procedure that's going to be done today is a partial mastectomy, upper outer quadrant of the right breast. As I've stated in a previous video, it's critical that you understand what your patient is having done today and why. This is the time that you Google the diagnoses, that you Google the procedure, and before you even begin reading the operative report itself, this allows you to really understand, again, what you're coding. So what's, what's some things that we know now? We know that the procedure is being done on the right breast, right? We also know that it was a partial mastectomy. This is important to start to think about, okay, what root operation am I potentially going to be using? So in this particular case, the patient was prepped and draped in the sterile fashion after general anesthesia had been achieved. Local anesthesia with xylocaine and marcaine to which adrenaline had been added was infiltrated around the breast to lessen the post-op pain. This patient had localized area of extensive fibrocytic mastitis in the upper outer quadrant of the right breast, which was persistently tender. We made an infra areola incision around the upper outer quadrant of the right breast and then undermined the skin to the upper outer quadrant. We were then able to carry out a wedge excision of the right breast. Now notice, they didn't take out the entire breast. They took out a quadrant. Notice he said wedge insection. Let's excision it. Let's highlight that. It was a wedge excision. It was a quadrant of the breast. So traditional quadrectomy and a partial mastectomy type. And the specimen was sent to the lab for um, histiologic frozen section. This revealed the benign fibrocytic mastitis without any evidence of malignancy. So the one question I know you probably are wondering, well, was this diagnostic? No, it wasn't a diagnostic procedure. He knew it was uh, fibrocytic mastitis from the beginning, guys. So just because you see that a specimen was sent to a lab, that doesn't mean that it's diagnostic, okay? And we'll talk about diagnostic qualifiers in a different segment. So uh, after that, they stopped the bleeding and then they closed the, the patient's area up. So of course, you know, we have to get our ICD-10 PCS manual out. And for this one, I'm pretty sure that most of you said, okay, I know this is excision. And this is excision because the physician only took out part of the body part. So from there, what we do is under excision, we're gonna go in alphabetical order Notice in my version of the ICD-10 PCS how I have this first gray line here. So the term excision is in bold print and then I have a little faint gray line here and a little faint gray line here. So we always start with the first gray line and I'm going to be looking for breasts. So I'm looking and I see um, artery and arms. So this particular case, I'm going to have to turn the page to locate breasts. So notice for breasts, my options are bilateral, left, 
right or supernumerary. So again, I must always code based upon what's in my documentation and my documentation told me that this was the right press. Therefore, I will be going to table 0HB. Now notice I'm saying table 0HB. T is for the right breast. So I'll write that down, but the table that I'm actually going to is table 0HB. Notice in the upper right hand corner, you have the three digit tables there. And so you just turn over until you locate the table. Notice it begins with 0H here and then a number. And so I want 0HB, so I keep turning and look what I have, 0HB. Okay. So table 0HB, I've already identified that my body part was a T for the right breast, okay? So then the next part that I need to determine is what is my approach? All right, so when we look at our operative report, and this is why this is called dissecting the operative report, we notice that the physician actually made an incision. Let's go back over here. He actually made an incision as his approach to this procedure. All right, so then that means we have a fifth character of zero, no device, and as I already mentioned, this is not diagnostic. So our final code is 0HB T Z Z. So 0HBTZ0ZZ. All right, guys, thank you for listening.